The Freedom Junkies presents Breaking Free. I'm Ems Rickson, and this is Breaking Free, the podcast where I talk honestly about addiction, how it has affected me, and the things I do to break free, in the hope it will help others who want to do the same. Hello everyone, and welcome to the very first episode of the Breaking Free podcast. The aim of this episode is to introduce myself and give a little background on how I came to be making a podcast about addiction. First of all, I want to cover a few um, housekeeping type points that I think are really important to discuss right at the beginning. First of all, I am not a drugs and alcohol counsellor or a medical or mental health professional. I'm just someone who has been affected by various addictions, who is trying to find ways to help deal with those addictions. I think that there are a lot of people who are struggling with the same things, and I want to share what I'm learning and doing so it can help anyone who can identify with what I'm saying. But I'm not a doctor, so anything I share will be either just my personal experience or the experience of others that I've spoken to, or information I found researching the podcast. Secondly, I'm not condoning or condemning the use of drugs or alcohol. I'm not saying no one should ever take drugs, and I include alcohol as a drug, it just makes things a bit quicker to say. And I'm also not saying everyone should go out and get wasted. Should is a really dangerous word, especially on a subject as individual and personal as this. Not everyone who takes drugs has a substance abuse problem. Not everyone who wants to make a change is an addict. I just want to encourage people to be honest with themselves, maybe take a closer look at the things that they do and just ask questions. And finally, I want the podcast to be inclusive. Everyone has different experiences and perspectives influenced by many different factors and we can all learn from those differences. I'd love people to be involved through our Facebook group in sharing their experiences and I want everyone to feel comfortable to do that. This means making sure we use inclusive language when we're talking, having a diverse range of guests on the podcast and correcting mistakes when we make them. So if you hear something you feel isn't inclusive, please let us know as nicely as possible, obviously. So now all that is said and done, I guess it's time to introduce myself. Uh, I'm going to keep it brief because I'm sure a lot of the details of the addictions that I struggled with will come up in later episodes. Um, So I was a pretty heavy drinker from the age of about 14 to 25 when I quit, which is very nearly 10 years ago. Um, My drinking definitely changed and escalated over the years Uh, I had a lot of fun and good times when I was in my late teens and early 20s. But when I stopped, one of the motivating factors was that I couldn't remember the last time that I'd had fun when I was drunk. The hangovers had got worse. I'd put on a lot of weight. I was spending a lot of money and I wasn't even enjoying myself. All throughout my drinking, I blacked out a lot, either passing out completely or worse, still up and drinking but my memory would be blank, like whole sections of the night would be totally missing. So even if I was having fun, I couldn't even remember. But I almost certainly wasn't because I was also a big drunk crier. I cried all the time when I was drunk, a lot of the time for no reason that I could ever even identify. So I was not a lot of fun to be around for anyone. When I stopped drinking, I did something very common, I think, which is transfer my addiction to another substance and I started smoking weed again very heavily for about nine years. I also smoked tobacco in my joints so I started smoking cigarettes as well. Uh, I felt very differently about smoking weed than I did about drinking. It altered my mental state but I never threw up, I never blacked out, I didn't do or say things that I regretted or felt embarrassed about. I also became very immersed in the culture and weed very quickly became part of my identity in a way that drinking never had. 
my biggest fear when I realised that I needed to stop smoking because it was really starting to affect my mental health was who would I be without weed? I had never had a break that wasn't enforced. I had never chosen to stop for nearly 10 years and it wasn't until I was reading and learning about addiction in order to help a friend going through similar struggles that I even admitted that I still had addiction issues myself. I quit smoking completely in January this year and so for the first time since I was a teenager have been completely drug-free for nearly a year. So mine is not a story of extremes. I wasn't using hard drugs which maybe makes my story less exciting than a lot of drug recovery memoirs you might read but what I think is that it makes it very relatable. Not everyone can understand or relate to using heroin or crack but most people know what it's like to feel like they smoke or drink too much or that they want to stop doing something but they don't know how. Quitting drinking also has its own, I think, quite unique set of challenges because it is so socially acceptable and ingrained in the cultures that I have lived in, which is mostly Europe and Australia, that it is totally normalised. I can't think of any other drug that if you told people you were quitting, they would discourage you, except maybe weed, depending on who you're talking to. So that's something that I'm sure we will discuss a lot on the podcast. Basically, I'm just a regular person struggling with a lot of things I'm sure many people do. I feel anxious a lot and have periods of feeling very low and depressed. I used alcohol and weed to mask these feelings, so now I've decided not to do that anymore. I'm having to find ways to actually deal with this rather than just cover it up. I'm currently living in Berlin with my partner in our self-built camper van, And van life is amazing, but it has its own set of challenges and struggles to contend with. Uh, While we're on the road, we decided to start a blog about what we were doing, uh, which was essentially trying to free ourselves from addiction, constraints and compulsions. It's called The Freedom Junkies, and we write about all kinds of topics from foraging food to how to convert a camper van to tips on being and staying sober and the podcast has grown out of the blog as a way of getting deeper into a lot of the subjects that I felt we were just touching the surface of that I wanted to look into more and talk about more. So the focus of the podcast is addiction but I really believe that everything is connected and that you can't really understand or solve a problem in isolation. So I'm sure we'll be, we'll be discussing a lot of different issues and subjects as well. We're going to do episodes every two weeks and you can get updates and information about the podcast and the blog on the Freedom Junkies Facebook page. And if you enjoy the podcast, you can join the Facebook group, which I'm hoping will become a really great supportive community We post a lot of resources and information, we chat and have discussions, and it's the place to make suggestions for topics for future episodes. So links for the group, the page and the blog will all be included in the show notes. So our first proper, air quotes, which you can't see, uh, episode is going to be about dry January and the pros and cons of sober months. I hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this podcast, head to Apple Podcasts and leave a rating and review and subscribe so you never miss an episode. For more information, check out the Freedom Junkies Facebook group and our blog at www.thefreedomjunkies.co.uk. Thanks to Visceral Manifestations for the design, Ryan Swainson for the theme tune and all of you for listening.